Today on People with Passion for Pets, we talk with Patty Quinn and Hilary Borhaltz, passionate founders and creators of We Hard Hounds. Hilary, hi Patty. <laughs> hey guys. Hello. Hi everybody. <laughs> hi Beer. Hi, hi, welcome. Hi Jim. <laughs> Hello, hello. <laughs> well, welcome to People with Passion for Pets. We're super excited to have you here today. <laughs> Thank you so much for having us. Yeah, exactly. This is such a pleasure. We're super excited to have, have an opportunity to chat with you. Awesome. And uh, Hillary and Patty, you guys are We Hard Hound, or that's the, the website, the YouTube channel, and the Facebook page that you have. Yes. So it's uh, yes. it's all about fun having with dogs, and um, so we'll want to talk a little bit about your channel and what you offer. But the the main thing I came across that I think on Fridays you always have a a live stream, right? And that's on uh, both do. Facebook and YouTube. Is that right? Yeah, exactly, exactly. So uh, yeah, we um, Hillary and I have known each other for oh my gosh. It's hard to say 18 years. It feels like <laughs> sometimes it feels like yesterday. Sometimes it feels like a long time ago, but, um, but yeah, we've known each other and worked together for about 18 years. Uh, and in that course of, uh, kind of working together, we got, we got to know that we were kind of similar kindred spirits in our passion and love for dogs and <laughs> thought it'd be fun to create uh, a company, um, that really kind of catered to, uh, dog parents, just like us. Right. And, and just, um, kind of help them out as best we could. Um, and you're right. One of the things that we started with was our uh, Friday kind of craft recipe shows, which were yeah. a, a really big hit right from the get go. Yeah, it was one of the ways that we found uh, early on just to kind of help grow our audience, but also get to know our audience. So it was, so, it was kind of a a fun way for us to get together. The idea behind it is it's called Thank Dog It's Friday or TDIF. And <laughs> it's just something we get to come together on a Friday. It's by far our favorite day of the week. And <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> just do something fun in honor of our love for dogs. So yeah, that was yeah. definitely the the idea behind it and the reason why we we have like over 125 episodes. We love doing it. And there's a yeah. ton of like DIY projects, all kinds of fun stuff that, yeah. that can be found there. It's a fun way to get together with your audience and help grow our audience, right? And they get to know us a little bit better, but we get to spend some time doing some really fun things. Usually it's really super simple, family friendly, yep. you know, even the recipes are super simple uh, kind of things. So um, yeah, it was just a really great fun way to get started. Um, so yeah, we, we, love we loved uh being able to kind of do that and just to continue doing that it's just yeah. been kind of a you know a labor of love that you know we we get to be with everybody every friday um doing anything in honor of our love for pups <laughs> like yep. i said you know it's just kind of that's what really drives us uh and motivates us um we both have kind of hound dogs so that's kind of where we heart hounds came from um, my husband and I kind of have had some beagles or beagle mixes. Um, we currently have a little dachshund mix, uh, a little chewini named Ginger. Um, and Hillary, you have hounds? Yeah, I've had basset hounds and I grew up with dachshunds uh, kind of all my life. And then we have bass a basset hound and a dachshund, which you'll probably hear in the background. I have a little puppy <laughs> right now named Hank that's trying to keep entertained with some toys down here. <laughs> So, yeah. yeah. So yeah. I saw on Facebook, Hillary, you just, you just had the puppy. So that's really cute. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Hank uh, is now the star of the show. <laughs> <laughs> they do steal the show. Do they? They do. Yeah. <laughs> How many times do they go? Let me see. Let me see. Yeah. No. It's like, well, I can't catch him right now. Yep. Exactly. <laughs> That's funny. Yeah, so he's he's keeping us all on our toes. I will say that yeah, that's for yeah. sure. Yeah. But yeah. although we started with hounds, our audience has grown beyond that. So it's all, we welcome all dog lovers of all kinds of walks yeah. of life. Um, you know, as much as we, you know, hounds is kind of our, our, our heart dog, um, as it were, um, we love all the, all dogs and everything. Um, and it's been really kind of interesting to see how that has changed over time. Um, kind of starting with the focus of, of hounds and hound dog lovers. Um, about a month into our uh, starting the business, um, my husband and I uh, found out that our dog had had, has, had, had cancer um, and she was diagnosed, her name was Clover. She was diagnosed with um, 
lymphoma. And unfortunately it wasn't one of those kind of cancers that you could kind of cut away and, you know, have surgery and cross your fingers and, you know, hope they, it doesn't come back. Um, it was kind of a, a you know, it was all over and uh, we weren't kind of sure what to do. At first we were thinking we weren't going to go through chemo because you kind of hear those stories about people going through chemo and how rough it is. And we just really didn't want to put her through that. Um, but after talking to the oncologist, we realized that that was actually a really good uh, option for her. She was pretty young, about four years old. And so we had really good hopes that she would do really well and, and everything. Unfortunately, she, you know, we had she, had, she went to chemo for about eight months. So we had those wonderful months of, you know, uh, life with her and she was such a happy girl and we were really blessed to have her um, for that extended time. Um, but when it first happened, I wasn't quite sure. We were still so new. I wasn't quite sure. Our audience didn't really know us. I didn't know if we should kind of, if I should kind of just keep it inside and button it up and, you know, put on a brave face and, you know, not really share that with our audience. And I decided, right away, like the day she started chemo to tell everybody um, that this was happening. And we had such an outpouring of love and support, like coming out of the woodwork. I was just like, I, I was in tears with my husband. I'm like, these people don't even know us. And they were like falling in love with Clover and they were being so supportive. And Hillary and I had many, many conversations about it over the course of, um, you know, the remaining time with Clover. And it was just like, it really drove us to um, do even more for our audience and, and find, you know, really amazing products and services and things that could help make their lives easier are their dogs long, you know, live longer and happier and healthier lives and all of that good stuff. And so that's really kind of been right from the beginning, one of the biggest drivers. So um, yeah, it's just been an, an amazing uh, journey uh, yeah. along the way. And you and, know, you could see that too. I'm sorry. No, on your, no, on, right on your page, when you read that, you could feel that. I mean, you could feel the, you know, about yeah. us and the story. Right. And it's very cool. I mean, it's a sad story, but it's very nice that you opened up because that's why we're in this industry, because, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. you, you, the pet people are different, you know, right. I mean, it's there. And so when you, you showed that story, it was nice that you got what you expected and you got, you know, what this industry is, what, what pet right. people are, you know, it's very right. cool. Right. Yeah. Well, it's one thing to know that amongst yourselves, right. Your family or other friends or other dog mm -hmm. lovers, but to share that out with people that you, you know, you don't really know, or, or you're not sure how they're going to take it or anything. So yeah, it was a really wide eyed opening experience and just so supportive and so much love and, and, um, and Hillary, you know, you've had similar experience as well. Yeah. So, um, our first facet Tatum, she, we, she had cancer as well. Um, and my experience was quite a bit different than Patty's in the sense of, I, it was a tumor that they were able to operate on. So it was like, there was no chemo. We got a clean bill of health and she was doing great. And a year later, it just came back so aggressively. So there was almost like no time to even process it where there was nothing else to be done. Mm -hmm. Canine cancer affects so many people and it's not everybody's story is the same. So right. It, right. it is kind of nice to have these different perspectives and have mm -hmm. the people that are supporting and kind of telling their story too, right. because right. we all can, we all get something from each other just by kind of sharing with the community. Right. Exactly. Really exactly. Awesome. Yeah. And in fact, after Clover passed, um, we connected with a grief counselor. Her name is Peggy mm -hmm. Haynes. And, um, it, it just kind of serendipity. It wasn't anything necessarily that we were looking for, but we, I, I, I came across her and I was talking to Hillary and I'm like, what, what, what would you think about maybe the three of us getting together and having kind of a video series on dog loss? And um, we talked to Peggy about it and she fell in love with the idea. Um, and so it was so well received. Um, it's, uh, it's still available in our libraries on Facebook yeah. and YouTube, but um, it was such a great way to, um, kind of reconnect with our audience that had been so supportive and, and reach out to help anybody who had also been, had, you know, been going through that same experience. Um, it, losing a, a, a dog is such a unique kind of experience. It's very different than losing a, a loved one, you know, a family member. Um, uh, and it was just interesting kind of going through that series and that those conversations and all the different stages of grief and the, the aspects of grief around losing a, a, a pet or, or a dog. And um, 
just really warmed our hearts to know that we were able to help a lot of people with that yeah. series and continue to. I mean, we still get letters and stories all the time of people that are watching that series and yeah. um, are really impacting them in a positive way, which is neat. Yeah, that was one of the things when um, we were getting so much response from that series and people writing in and kind of sharing their stories and, and thanking us for providing the videos, we decided to create a six part email series that mm -hmm. goes along with it. That is the guide to surviving dog loss. And in that series, it's just six emails, but inside of those six emails, you get eBooks that have eBooks that have ideas for, cause sometimes it's not just you who's going through it. Obviously your whole family, if mm -hmm. you, if you lose a pet, so ideas on how to help the kids deal with pet loss and your other pets right. are sometimes really affected by it. So kind of thinking of some of these other um, aspects of the loss, and then we have grief support um, and other videos, all kinds of things kind of included in that. And it's absolutely mm -hmm. free. Anybody like the main goal of this is just for the people that need it, for the people mm -hmm. that are hurting out there to be able to have access to this because it's, yeah. I, I really think it's a powerful tool to help people. Right. So. And if you're interested, we'd be happy to share that link. Um, so anybody else could sign up for that. Again, it's just six emails. We don't sell anything. It's totally free. It's just there to help people get through that, uh, that really difficult time in their life. And, and how interesting, you know, you started out the, this conversation of this topic by saying, you know, you weren't really sure if you mm -hmm. should share that in, when yeah. you were vulnerable, but um, to, to have that open up and, and have now this wonderful resource for people, I think that's really, really great. Yeah. yeah. Thanks. Yeah. It's, it's turned out amazing. Um, really one of the things that, you know, has really kind of driven us all along um, is, is finding products, finding businesses, finding services, um, you know, tripods for three-legged dogs, like anything that can really help people with, um, with their, you know, their loving companions, right. To help, help them, you know, make it, make life a little easier, give them, add them, give them some conveniences, get, maybe give them a little savings to their, you know, pocket. Um, anything we can do to, to help along the way has really been one of the drivers behind the, the business. And I think, um, you know, the dog loss series is one aspect that we're really proud of, you know, is obviously very difficult to go through all of that. It's, it's a difficult conversation to have. Um, but there's really a lot of hope and joy and healing as a part of that as well that we're really proud of. That's really kind of neat. You know, and it really helps people understand that, you know, it's not a dog's not just a dog to us. Mm -hmm. A dog mm -hmm. is part of the family. So mm -hmm. when they they realize that grieving for the dog is okay, it's not yeah. like mm -hmm. grieving for an old car or something. This is a living, breathing right. something that's been in your family for right. years. Fortunately, we don't mm -hmm. get a long time with them. Mm -hmm. you know, it's part yeah. of it. Right. That's why it's so important to celebrate them every day. <laughs> That's Yay! one of the lessons that we've learned <laughs> um, for sure is that, you know, you just don't know what life's going to throw your way. And it's just, it really is all about hope and healing and celebrating our time together and, you know, just finding all those moments to bond and play and enjoy um, each other's company, which is really, yeah. really yeah. fun. Mm -hmm. Cool. Absolutely. So the, the so going kind of to the fun part. So on your live streams that you're doing on uh, on Facebook and YouTube, uh, obviously you you come up to with these fun little things like crafts and, and recipes. So so who is the uh, creative one who finds out um, how to come across them? <laughs> Uh, I think it's kind of a combination between yeah. the two of us, right? So, um, yeah, it's, it's, it's really kind of an interesting, it, there really has been, oh, here's this idea or, oh, here's this idea. And it's really just kind of, as we come up with new ideas or as we're walking through Dollar Tree or Walmart. That happens and, to be a big one. Yeah, <laughs> Occasionally like, it'll just be what we bump into and we're like, yeah. oh, we can do something with this. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> or I'll take a picture of it in the store and I'll text Hillary. I'm like, what do you think we could do with this? Isn't this really cool? You know, and so just coming back and forth. My mom is just blown away. She's like, I don't know how you come up with a different thing every week yeah. <laughs> um, and that you continue to do this over and over, but it's really so much fun. It We both like to do stuff with our hands and be crafty, mm -hmm. make 
you know, cook in the kitchen, do recipes, all, all that kind of fun stuff. And it's just kind of a way to chill and relax and enjoy and yeah. not think about all the stress of life, you know, and, and do something to kind of treat your pup, you know, whether you're making yeah. a toy or making a treat or, um, you know, doing all kinds of fun things. We've made little, little jackets for our, our pups. We've made little blankets for our pups. Um, there's all kinds of tutorials for every walk of life. Um, yeah. And even in fact, uh, last year with COVID, we did, um, it wasn't just Fridays. We did Monday through Every Friday for, week. Yeah. Yeah, for probably, wow. <laughs> probably a month, I think. Well, when COVID first hit and people were stuck at home and nothing to do, and you know, the kids were not in school anymore and nobody really knew what was going to happen. We really wanted to give people, a, you know, another outlet and, and yeah. just not think about all the doom and gloom of everything that's, you know, all the uncertainty that's around you right um and just have fun like you know so yeah. um so we did a whole kids series um so which was a lot of fun as well yeah so, sort of s simple ones that were focused on that the kids could do now that they're home and yeah mm -hmm. it was it was a lot of fun yeah anything coming up with the uh, holidays any special shows that are in the works <laughs> oh, special shows. Yeah, we have our calendar booked out for uh, quite a while. So yeah, we've got, we usually do really tasty treats for the holidays. And we do home decor, like Christmas wreaths or holiday wreaths or, um, yeah. you know, all that kind of stuff too for the holidays. Uh, really, the thing that we're super excited about that's just taken place and will be continuing over the holidays um, is our birthday club. So yeah. I was going to ask oh, you yeah. about the birthday so, club. Please yeah. what that's about. So yeah. the birthday club is, it's free to join. It's just about having fun and celebrating your pups. So we have um, some party planning ideas and printables for your party and recipes and all kinds of fun stuff. Once a month, we, we mail those out and uh, we even have doggy horoscopes, which is really fun. <laughs> so it's just, it's really just a place that you go and you have fun, celebrate yeah. your pup. And there's giveaways. There's all kinds of fun things that are going on. It's really just, even if your dog doesn't have a birthday that month, it's a, a reason to celebrate your dog and your, and your bond with your dog and, and stuff. So it's just a lot of fun. Um, yeah. th that again is also totally free. Um, we're just all about community, right. And kind of building on that, um, with other dog lovers, so. Okay, so the birthday club, uh, that's something that our viewers and our listeners can find on your website? Super easy, you can go and find it on our website. You can go to Facebook and, and find it there. Um, we also talk about it on YouTube and Instagram and everywhere we are, Pinterest, um, all that good stuff. So mm -hmm. yeah, really easy to find. Yeah, and of course we'll uh, we'll have all of the links in the description below the video and the podcast so that uh, our viewers and our listeners can find you very easily. Perfect. That's Excellent. great. That's great. <laughs> yeah. Um, it really is a passion of ours to, to get out there and find, I mean, we just have fallen in love with entrepreneurs who are just yeah. working day in and day out to, you know, do the best that they can to provide uh, something to make lives of dogs be that much better. Right. And, um, and we love going out and finding them and, shining a light on their brand and shine and kind of letting them tell their story kind of just like what you're doing with us right yeah. you know just getting people an opportunity to um you know tell the world all the what's in their heart and what they love to do um as it relates to dogs and then as we work with these companies um and kind of help them um you know get their products and services out to our audience and other audiences um, we also help kind of put together some special offers, exclusive deals, you know, things like that, because it's expensive to have pups, yeah. right? You know, so we, any way we can help not only provide a, a nice product or service that will make your dogs happy um, or supplements to make them healthy, um, but, you know, anything we can do to help um, with the wallet, make that a little less painful. <laughs> I mean, there's just some, so many amazing people out there in, in this industry. Um, and we're just happy to be a small part in that and hope, hope we can make a small difference um, with what, with what we do. And um, basically our goal is just to um, try to help our audience um, in bigger and better ways, you know, yeah. as much as we can. And, you know, we'll continue to work with canine cancer charities. And, you know, we ha also have some uh, goals of helping out with uh, military vet uh, dog companionship programs and things like that. And of course, any other ways we can celebrate our lives with pups. <laughs> yep.
<laughs> that is so cool. So um, before we let you go, though, you got to tell us about your puppies and your fur baby. So, oh, yeah. OK, well, <laughs> I'm happy to do that. I've got my little snuggle bunny right here. So yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is Ginger. Oh, my goodness. Very Ginger's adorable. a little Chewini. She's three years old. She's the love of and, our life. And this is Hank, and he's about three months old. So <laughs> oh, <laughs> right all the puppiness. The show. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's cute. AKA so wiggle worm, right? Yep. <laughs> wiggle. Oh my gosh. I thought you would never put me on the camera. <laughs> <laughs> That's, and your Tawini so cute, so dignified. Oh, yes. What are we yeah. doing here, Mom? What are we this doing This is Ginger. Here? Yeah, she's a sweetheart. Oh, that's cute. Very, Very cool. cute. <laughs> that's funny. You just see the personality so different. You know, one to yeah. puppy's like, what's this? Can I eat yeah. this? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look at Ginger. And my other she's pup, Lulu, well is is yeah. napping over in in on the couch so she's she's a little bigger she's a basset hound so she's a little bigger to get up on my lap but she thinks she's a lap dog <laughs> yeah exactly <laughs> <Just like Hank. laughs> exactly That's very cool that is very cute very cute any other pets or just dogs for you guys just pups for us just doggies yep, yep. okay yeah yep. i love great. cats i'm allergic to cats we've we've had a cat in the past but um yeah just doggies for now so very cute. <laughs> Are you see a little puppy looking for something to bite on? Yep. That's funny. Ginger's sitting there like, are we done yet? Oh, <laughs> that's, that's cute. Can I go back to sleeping, mom? I would just woke yeah. her up. <laughs> You're not gonna give me any treats. <laughs> funny. Wonderful. All right. Any yeah. other things that you would like our uh, our viewers to to know about? Uh, yeah, just check us out, uh, wehearthounds.com, and you can. There's all kinds of information. Our tutorials, um, some special offers are there. All kinds of the birthday club link and all that kind of stuff is there. Um, we're also on Facebook at We Heart Hounds and YouTube at We Heart Hounds. Same at Instagram. Pinterest, We Heart Hounds, yeah. and Instagram. Yeah, um, and yeah, really, just um, the more you can like subscribe and follow and share and tell your friends like the more that we can you know just spread the love uh with the puppy love with all the all uh, all the rest of the world <laughs> so that would be it but thank you for having us today this has yes, been such you. a pleasure and we truly enjoyed having the same uh time with you when we got to interview you with our audience so if your audience is interested in that it's in our video series as well so check that out we had such a fun conversation with Birgit and Jim oh my gosh it was the best and so <laughs> <laughs> thank really you cool. thank yeah. you yeah <laughs> all right you guys well uh thanks for being on people with passion for pets you definitely fit the uh the profile <laughs> i have to say absolutely yeah <laughs> no. yay we're one of the club <laughs> <laughs> no, well, definitely. Got... thank you really so thank it. you guys we'll talk to you later all right thanks all right. everybody have a great day thank you for watching today i hope you enjoyed the information and until next time keep your paws on the road